now that we've talked a bit about both aerodynamics and propulsion, we're going to move on to the next topic, which is going to a higher level and looking at mission-based aircraft design and weight estimation. This part of the course for the next two lectures is primarily based on Daniel Raymer's book, Aircraft Design, A Conceptual Approach, and excerpts from the book that are relevant have been posted to the Clue site. Now, successfully designing an aircraft needs to begin with specifying its mission. And when we're talking about a mission for an aircraft, what this just means is what the aircraft will have to do. So a high level example might be to carry 150 passengers for 1800 kilometers. And the payload requirements, that's cargo or passengers, um, is then used to help estimate the aircraft's takeoff weight. And what we want to do is build up the takeoff weight. which will denote W sub naught. And this gross weight can be broken into several segments. So there's crew weight, payload weight, often this is passenger, fuel, and the empty weight, which is the weight of the vehicle itself. So that W naught equals W sub crew plus W sub payload plus W sub fuel plus W sub empty. And the crew weight and payload weight are typically specified in the mission requirements. So the unknowns are the fuel and empty weight. However, those depend on the total weight, so an iterative process ends up being required to come up with this initial estimate. So this process of estimation and iteration is called sizing the conceptual design. Now, this sort of process is needed to determine how much lift is required, and then the aerodynamics, basically the lift to drag ratio for the entire aircraft, sets the thrust requirement. And what we do is express the unknown fuel and empty weights as a fraction of the takeoff weight. So we can write it like this, W naught is W crew, which we assume is known, and W payload, which we assume is known, plus WF over W naught, the fuel weight fraction times W naught plus W empty over W naught, the empty weight fraction. So then we can solve for W naught from this equation. And get that W naught is W crew plus W payload over 1 minus WF over W naught minus WE over W naught. So now the problem is to get these two fractions. So let's begin by looking at estimating the empty weight.
So typically this is done by employing empirical data based on historical trends. And overall, W E over W naught is typically in the range of about 0.3 to about 0.7. And this fraction tends to diminish with increasing total aircraft weight. Now, historical data has been collected and tabulated in Raymer's book, and that's included in both the PDF lecture notes and in the excerpts from the book that are posted on the course website. From this, you can look at and get an idea of the trends, um, but essentially, they follow this, in that as the heavier the aircraft is, the smaller fraction of the total weight is the empty weight. 